So I just wanted to show, there were people asking if we had cob nuts or hazelnuts. And we do, we have a whole row of them that my grandfather planted a long time ago. Here they all are. There's a whole row of them just on the edge of the orchard. And here you can see, here are some of the nuts, but they probably won't last very long because the gray squirrel comes and eats them before they're even ripe. So there's lots on the ground that they've already chewed. So you can see this is a whole row of hazelnuts or cob nuts or whatever you want to call them. And the orchard is through here. You can see there's the orchard. The sheep haven't been here for nearly a month now, I think. And the grass isn't back great yet because of the um, drought we had. So the grass is only just catching up or the, gra the grass and clovers and stuff. Anyway, these are our hazelnut slash cobnut trees. So you can see there is a tiny crop of them, but not a huge amount because there's already the squirrels, the gray squirrels have already taken them out. A lot of them are on the ground. Um, well, they're eaten, so they're gone. Oh, there, you can see here's some on the ground. There's more on the ground. These are, so these have been, you can see that's not quite ripe yet. Yeah, not quite ripe yet. But the squirrels, they eat a few up on the tree, knock, knocking some down to the ground. And then they come, look at, there's more, more. So they knock them onto the ground and then um, they'll eat the ones on the ground later after they've eaten the ones up on the tree. So look, that's a nice, healthy, big one, but it won't ripen now because, oh, well, it's got an insect in it, but because the gray squirrel has knocked it to the floor. So that's our hazelnut, stand of hazelnut trees. So it starts here and goes all the way up the laneway. My grandfather used it as a crop and a windbreak for when he planted the orchard. See, there's more hazelnuts. More and more. But the gray squirrels, that's one of the issues I have about gray squirrels. And it's not great for the red squirrels because their food is gone. They like eating, the red squirrels, our native red squirrels, like eating hazelnuts when they're ripe, not when they're green like the gray squirrel. Invasive American gray squirrel, detrimental to our native wildlife.